And this is not enough tech, this is not a cooking program, although welcome to my kitchen. Since hooking up Amazon Dash via Notepad uh, proven to be much easier, I'm going to continue with this method because why not? However, if you're interested in hooking up Amazon Dash via Python script, uh, there is a Python script that I wrote uh, that will handle your lights and Amazon Dash buttons as well. I'm going to link it in the description for you so you could go and check it out if you'd rather use Python for something. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. Welcome to my kitchen. And today we're going to be, no, we're not going to be cooking actually, we were, we're going to be talking about tech. And uh, the tech today is uh, Amazon Dash button, I've got a couple of them in here. And also I've got fitted uh, one in here and one in here, uh, Yeelight Smart Bulb. And these are, are seriously awesome because you can hook them up with pretty much everything and you can control them from pretty much everything as they provide you with API access. That means hooking up a button like this, it takes seconds, honestly it does. So when I press the button, obviously, uh, after five seconds or so, because of the delay, delay of the dash button, that's what happens. I've set them to red, to not to disturb um, any light coming for the video. So in this uh, small showcase, we've got two different scenarios. You can either use a single button to control a single light bulb, or a controller group. That's not a problem. Now, I've got a second button right now, which I've not used yet and uh, it's hooked up as well so you could control the same lights you can put them in a different uh, um, areas of your room you can carry uh, different members can carry it as a remote so right now what's going to happen when i press the button they'll discover the state of the bulbs and set them off excellent so we've got three scenarios one scenario for controlling a single bulb one scenario for controlling a bulb uh, group and the third scenario is to control uh, a same group or a same bulb with two buttons. So let's start the tutorial. To control E-Light lights uh, with Amazon Dash buttons, we're going to need two nodes. First of all, I've already talked about setting up a, a node red and Amazon Dash buttons. So these are uh, nodes in here already uh, prepared. So if you're interested in that, just go ahead and uh, read the tutorial about it. I've going to link it on the screen and in the description for you. Uh, now, the second node that we're going to install is the node responsible for uh, controlling the e light. Uh, this node allows you to control the e light and hue lights, and it's very simple uh, to use. So, the node's called Node Red Contrib E Light Compat Hue, and you can install it via Palette Manager. When uh, the node is installed, you're going to get two different nodes. You're going to get a status node, and you're going to get, which is here, and you're going to get a uh, controller, sorry, that's a status node, and a controller node, which is going to send requests to the light bulb itself. Now, let's take a look at the setup I've got in here. I've got two flows. First flow is this one. And what happens in here, I've got inject. Uh, every 10 seconds, it will trigger it and it will update the status of the uh, bulb and write the status to a variable, global variable, which is basically called Yeelight. So uh, how do I know which uh, information I should write? Uh, I've connected a debug node like this, and when you deploy it, you're going to get, uh, within 10 seconds, you're going to get an object. And this, let me just uh, disable this now because it's going to keep posting it. And this object contains information about the state of the build. So in this case, my build is currently off and it sends message false. So that information would be stored right now in a Yeelight variable. That variable is going to be recalled later. So if I want to connect the Amazon Dash button, all I have to do is just use the Dash setup and connect it to my flow. First action is going to be a node. Node's going to check what is the current status of the Yeelight variable and assign it to a message.yeelight uh, and pass it on. Later on, using a switch node, I'm investigating whether the message.yeelight is true or false. And then depending on the outcome, I'm issuing the opposite command. So if the outcome was uh, true, I'm sending false. And if the outcome was false, I'm obviously going to send true and to pass the command to the 
Yeelight controller. All I have to do is just use a JSON formatted value, which is uh, as presented to you on the screen. Now you could include more values. You can add a hex value, hue, saturation, that's fine. But in this tutorial, I'm just going to focus on toggling it on and off, but you, you're free to do the presets. Now this is basically uh, how, and you link the obviously outcomes to the controlling node, uh, you like controlling node by selecting the bulb. Make sure you configure the light bulbs. All you have to do is just enter the um, uh, IP of the light bulb and then port number, which is 55443. It's, it's worth noting that the uh, Yeelight light itself, the light bulb has to be uh, set into a LAN mode. So uh, go to the Yeelight light app and set the light bulb into LAN mode through the app first, so you could control it locally. Now, this is a scenario for controlling one light, uh, one light uh, using a single button. So what if you want to add another button? It's very easy, it's just uh, duplicate at the bottom and make an input like this. And then you have two different buttons that will control the same light and you can turn it off and on uh, and the light with the different buttons. So what if you have multiple lights then? Well, I've got two nodes in here. First, I'm gonna connect a second light so I can turn them on and off. And I'm gonna also add a second status node for the second light, which will basically save the output of that light to the variable. So if that uh, new bulb is gonna be turned on or off, it's gonna update the status as well every 10 seconds. And that way you have three scenarios. First, in which you can control a single bulb with a single Amazon dash button. Second, when you control two uh, lights with a single button or multiple buttons. And obviously the third one is multiple buttons and a single group or a single light. And I think that was fairly easy, wasn't it? So of course, if you prefer to use the buttons uh, to preset a certain um, light conditions, like you can set them to blue, dimmed 50% or flashing, doesn't matter, you can still do it with these little buttons. It's up to you. They're gonna send the command you want and they're gonna reverse the command you want following this tutorial. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you're interested in more things you can do with the dash buttons, just uh, follow me on social media, subscribe to my channel, like and share this video and do all sort of start that I'll uh, thank you later. So uh, I guess uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, bye.